Hello, unique divas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will be teaching you this particular design today. If you find this video useful, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload any new video. Please know that this tutorial is focused on the design placed on this banker base, which is the chain design made with crinoline. If you want to learn how to make this particular tabanka base, please watch it on my previous video. I also added the link in my description box. Then for the design on top, you buy 6 yards of 6 inches crinoline. But for this training, I'm just using 2 yards for illustration. But you understand what I'm doing. Just pay a close attention. First of all, tie the edge of your crinoline. Just take one end. And tie it up. You pass your needle and thread. Then, after passing your thread, you pass your needle in between the thread at the end of that knot. Then you roll your thread so you're able to hold that edge very firm. Then you pass it again and you cut out your thread. Please, the process you do here, do it at the other end of the crinoline. Alright, you can use your lighter to hem the mouth of the crinoline. You can do the same thing to the other side of it. Use your lighter to hold it down. Okay, I want to start forming the top design. I locate the center of the crinoline. Then once you locate it, you fold as I'm doing now. I want to form a chain with this crinoline. I want to form a chain. So you locate the center of the crinoline and ensure that both edges are equal. Then once it's equal, you continue. Please, please pay very close attention here. You continue to roll this crinoline over each other to form a chain. So watch closely you will understand it very well. you notice that as I'm rolling it to form the chain, I'm also adjusting anyone that didn't fold well. While you form that chain, you will make sure that the crinoline is equal. You know you fold each part in two. So when you fold and cross it over to the other, to the other side and drag it, you make sure that it is still equal. If it folds inside, use your hand to make it to be equal, just as I'm doing on this video. You can see the chain is forming. Please, as you watch and you get confused, you can replay this part so you pick it. It's very easy. Just bear it in mind that you are forming your chain. The main secret of this part is make sure that the two crinoline they are equal. See what I mean? This edge is equal, this edge is equal. Then you roll it over. You get it? You roll it over and drag. The white dragging, you also turn it out and adjust to make sure that it's equal. Alright, so this green one is the one I've already completed and you can see the look. See how the sheen is. You can see it, right? And this is the end part. So I'll be showing you how I ended it. Once you finish tying the last round, it's possible that the queen only won't be equal again. So what you do is just hold both the longer one and the short one together. Hold it the way I just did here. Then you tie round. You tie it round. Once you've done tying it firm, you use your scissors to cut out that long part and use your lighter to hem the mouth. 
and it will be like this. Now what we'll do is to attach this chain design to the cap base. So we're going to take this end point, not this part, but this end point. We're going to take it and attach under the loop. Then we place it under the loop. Look at the part I mean, this point. You are going to put under the loop, then use your needle and thread and hold it down to the cap base. So you seal both the cap base, the chain design and the loop together. Alright, I'm done tacking the chain to the cap base. Now look the way I will design that chain. You fold. Look at the direction I'm taking. You roll it round. You roll it round. When you get to this point, you still go round, not on top, please. Under, under, under. You continue to roll it round, under. Till you get... To the end it will be going under it while it pushes it up then if you get me all right i'll repeat it again so you understand the what i just did and you'll be needing this long needle or long pins to hold down the design while tacking so let me lose it out so i will redo this design for, for more clearer view so i'll roll it around the cap base again don't forget to roll under. You will notice that as you roll it under, it will push in that chain design up. Just watch close what I'm doing. You roll it under this way. I'll be taking my long needles to hold it down. Please watch the spot I'm holding down the paint too. so you hold it down the two sides and hold down the back too i mean the down part hold the chain to the cap base i repeat hold the chain to the cap base so i will do the back part of it so you can see how it looks next thing you will do is you cut out this your needle that needle at the center, form your knot and cut out with scissors. Then use it to tack those places you held with pin. Those points, those three parts you held them to the top band. Use it and tack the chain to the cap base. Watch closely how I do the tacking. So I'll take my needle and thread and hold the chain design to the cap base. Once you do that, you remove your needle. Same thing you did on the other side, you do it here. You, 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 you use a needle and thread to do your tacking. Please make sure that once you tack down, you tie and remove your needle. Also do same thing to the back, the back part where you use the needle to hold down. The way you tack the two sides, do same thing to that back. If you watch closely, you will see I have tacked down the two sides as well as the back part. I've done it. Alright, the next step to take is how to hold the top part. If you look, you see it's dangling. It's loose. So I have not tacked it down. So what you do next is to use your needle, and thread, your needle and thread or you use your candle gum to hold down. Please don't scatter what you did. Don't scatter what you did. Remember? If you find that it's too high, it popped out too high, just drag your chain 
you drag it out and press down it will go down so use your candle gum to hold down like from this point you can rub your candle gum here and press it down to this part you press it down or you can use your needle and thread and that's what i'll be using for this training i'll use my needle and thread and hold down the the important points there's a point that once you hold them down this whole dangling will stop so what you do is use your needle and thread to hold those points so as you watch closely you see how i'm doing the tacking while tacking once you take your needle upwards and bring it down make sure you pass that needle in between the thread pass it in between the thread the way i just did now if you don't do it this way it will pull off then if you get me pass your needle in between the thread so it won't pull off so go to the other side look for a point that you know once you tack it down it will stop dangling it will stop the whole chain dangling so what you do is you tack that same point so on your own when you, once you tack you look around check any place that needs tacking you tack down you just use your brain here and do your tacking you understand the major thing is make sure that the you tack very well you tack every spot very well so that when someone puts on the cap there will be no reason for the chain design to fall off or dangle and try as much as you can to make your sewing so invisible if you are using candle gum hold it very firm so the candle won't show after gumming it down so at this point i've tacked the whole side down everything is neatly tacked down it can pull off or dangle again okay i'm done with the designing and thanks for watching see you next time